Hi, it's Dr. Saab. In this video, you will learn how to replace the wipers on modern Mercedes models. I will show you how to change the front wipers and the back wipers as well. This video is perfect for models include uh, A-Class, B-Class, CLA, GLA, C-Class, GLC, and even E-Class, and many, many more. Now, one of the clues on when the wipers need to be changed, when you look at the wiper themselves, on the top, you'll have a little yellow. And if you see it yellow, that means they need to be changed. Now, if they're greeny kind of black, that means that they should be okay. So if the wipers are leaving streaks or dirt, then they need to be changed. The wipers should be quietly gliding over your windscreen. So if the wipers are making a noise, then probably the wipers need to be replaced. Now Mercedes actually recommend changing them every six months if you live in a wet climate. They also recommend you purchase genuine Mercedes wiper blades. The windscreens are actually built by Mercedes unlike most other manufacturers that purchase them from a supplier. So that's quite a cool fact. Now instructions on how to change the wipers. Now you may have not noticed, but some of the Mercedes models, the actual wipers are hidden away when not in use, but changing them is a bit different. You'll notice on these Mercedes, when you try and pull the wiper arm up, you're blocked. So if your Mercedes does this, then follow the next instructions. Now to put the car into service mode, what you'll need to do is make sure the car is on or even the ignition on make sure the car's in park next open the door then switch the car off immediately and press and hold the wiper button until your wipers go like this now you can access the wipers and you'll be able to put them up just like this now you'll notice that the wipers are slightly different on older mercedes so i'm going to show you how to change the wipers on this car as well as an older car now what you'll need to do is turn the wiper blade away from the arm and then all you need to do is slide the catch or cover up and the wiper should come off. Now be careful to not drop the arm on the windscreen because you could damage it. Then to put it back on, just do the reverse, make sure the armor is away, and then just stick it back in. When you hear that click, that's fitted. And then just test it just to make sure it's fitted correctly and then you can put it down. Now you just need to do the same steps for the other arm. Once you're finished, just go back into your car, start the car up, then press the wiper button again, and that will end service mode. Again, you can see that the wipers are hidden away when you're driving, so it's much more sleeker look, probably more aerodynamic as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the wipers on older Mercedes. Fold the wiper arms up, Turn the wiper blade away from the arm, slide the catch or cover, and the wiper should come off. Now be careful to not drop the arm on the windscreen or else you could damage it. Here you can see the old wiper and the new wiper. The old wiper has the yellow circle with a warning in it, and then you've got the other wiper which has a red sticker covering the circle. So we need to just take that off. Now I've taken the sticker off and you can see it's like a green kind of circle and this will just give us a warning when the wipers need to be changed. So when they're really worn, the circle will turn yellow with a little warning in it and that's the warning to say change your wipers. Now get the new wiper and you're just going to do the reverse. So the sticker needs to be facing up at the top and then make sure the wiper is away from the arm. Press down to close the catch and cover and then when you hear the click, that means it's now closed. Before you put the wiper down on the windscreen again, just make sure it is fitted. Now do the same steps again for the other arm. So fold the wiper arm up, turn the wiper blade away from the arm, slide the catch or cover up and the wiper should come off. Now be careful to not drop the arm on the windscreen or else you could damage it. Here you can see the old wiper which has a yellow warning and then the new wiper has a green circle. Now to install the new wiper, sticker needs to be facing at the top and then make sure the wiper is away from the arm. Press down to close the catch cover. When you hear that click, that means it's now closed. Just double check that it's not going to come off and then you can put it down. 
Now to change the rear wiper, it's a bit different. Fold the wiper arm up, then the wiper blade needs to be away from the arm. Squeeze the little clip on both corners, on both sides, and then it should just pull off. Take care to unhook as well. Now you just need to do the reverse to put it back on. Hook it up and push it in. When you hear the click, that means it's now fitted. Just give it a little test just to make sure it doesn't come off and then you can put the arm down. Now I do have a top tip. Just give your wipers a quick wipe after you've washed your car. This should make your wipers last a bit longer and you'll have cleaner wipers as well. Now you can use a paper towel, but they can break. So I would recommend using a nice clean cloth when wiping the wipers. Please subscribe as it helps me and the channel grow and create even more content. Please like this video. Also comment if you have any suggestions or questions. There is a new thanks feature. If you want to donate to the channel, then please feel free to use this feature and any money raised from YouTube will be used to buy more equipment. Check out the playlist for more videos so hopefully they help you out too. There are videos on how to connect your phone to the car, how to use the self parking feature, and even videos on how to use the cruise control and speed limiter. Thanks for watching.